Thank you, Chair. <laughs> the NDP, which the ACDP supported, includes activities for creating an integrated and inclusive rural economy. This, we understand, must include the creation of jobs in communal areas, expanding commercial agriculture, making land reform work, developing non-agricultural activities, developing human capital, ensuring social security, food security, and basic services, ensuring farm worker empowerment and labor relations. No small task, Honorable Minister. The ACDB calls on the Minister not to overlook the importance of ensuring that people receive the basic services in the areas where they live. This is important for many reasons, but also important because if we don't, people will be drawn in ever ever greater numbers to urban areas that are already overstretched in terms of provision of services. On the land question, the ACDP appreciates the vigorous debate within the majority party on this issue and is encouraged that some leaders are not taking lightly the danger of expropriating land without considering food production. ANC Secretary General, uh, for example, has noted that Zimbabwe's failure to value agriculture in its land redistribution has translated into starvation. Land is not just economics, he is quoted as saying, it's a sensitive issue. We want to ensure that th there is better management of it. It's a complex issue. If you play the gallery, you will set the country on fire. We need to manage it better, and the ACDP couldn't agree more. Zimbabwe's tourism minister, Walter Nzambi, has also warned of the consequences of taking President Mugabe's route, reportedly cautioning South Africa not to copy Zimbabwe's land reform agenda, saying black business economic empowerment has been more important and successful in South Africa, and he urged South Africa to evolve its own model. According to the National Development Plan, agriculture has the potential to expand and create an additional one million jobs. The ACDP welcomes the move toward government and business making an effort to create sustainable partnerships, partnerships that will provide skills and experience for successful models and part uh, partnership. Of course, we only have to look at the sugar industry, the country's largest agricultural employer. The ACDP is of the opinion that solid rational leadership in land reform and communal tenure security is needed, but we also need Treasury and the Department to actively provide for infrastructure plus financial and technical support to farmers. To get good at anything, you have to do it over and over and over again, and that's a fact. Um, you, have to be, you also have to be good at what you do to just survive, and you must be even better to be competitive. Without support, while skills are being developed, the chances of survival, let alone success, are very slim. According to researchers, beneficiaries of land reform too often remain poor and dependent on state social grants for survival, even many years after land restitution. Inadequate post-settlement support, lack of skills, poor planning, the infighting within communities are some of the reasons that despite a strong desire to grow crops, um, success is elusive. Honorable member, round up. At the same time, no money well, let me round up by saying, uh, while we understand the challenges of transitional justice, the ACDP is, like, is unlikely to support the budget because of our concern that even the 10 billion will not be adequate to the task if we don't deal with the fraud and corruption involved. Thank you, Honorable Minister.